So let us now talk about the cohomology ring of uh, associated with the RPN. So we have to start with the cup product structure. So first we should write what is the homology group. So the homology group with coefficients in Z2 is Z2. Now this immediately implies you can use universal coefficient theorem or compute otherwise. This will imply the cohomology groups are also exactly same. So this is also Z2. So you can say either by universal coefficient theorem or direct computation. Okay, so this is this is uh, easy. So first we do case one. So we have to find the cup product. So say k plus l is n and we want to find the cup product of say alpha k cup with alpha l. Ok now alpha k cup with alpha l is non-zero. Yeah this is uh, an application of the uh, of the Punkre duality theorem. So alpha k is the non-zero element of hk, alpha l is the non-zero element of hl and hl you can write as hn minus k. So you take cup product of these two and this will be non-zero. This is by the application of Punkre duality theorem. So case 2, this is equal to m which is less than equal to n. So yeah, more precisely the case 1 is the application of proposition 3.38 yeah, on page 250 just in case you are wondering why the case 1 is non-zero. So consider the natural embedding RPM in RPN. So now we talk about the graded ring maps. The arrow will reverse itself. And now we will use exactly the same idea which we used in K plus uh, in case 1 that uh, now k plus l now alpha k cup alpha l is non-zero here yeah because k plus l is m and by on by uh, proposition 3.39 on page 250 this uh, has to be non-zero if both the sum ends add up to the dimension of the manifold so k plus l is equal to m and rpm is also has m in the exponent. So since it is non-zero here it has to come from a non-zero element in the graded ring h star rpn. So now we can uh, collect the results. So we have alpha k cup alpha l is equal to alpha k plus l if k plus l is less than or equal to n. So notice that the only result we have used is that if k plus l is equal to the dimension of the manifold then alpha k cup with alpha l is non-zero. Yeah? Just like n minus k plus k is uh, non-zero or leads you to, to the manifold. So yeah, that is the pretty much the story. So alpha k cup alpha l is non-zero if k plus l is equal to the entire dimension. In case 1, k plus l is n, which is equal to rpn. In k plus l is equal to m in case 2. And therefore, we had to use a natural embedding. So 
because of this structure we have the following ring structure on uh, RTN 